fascinating news today because we have some very safe helmet technology that just got released. Okay, who we got is a company called Release RLS, very similar to MIPS where they are a technology platform that allows helmet manufacturers to use their tech, you know, for a little bit of licensing fee, they uh, will be able to use, you know, this new technology. So technology is out and then we have a helmet that just got released, not quite available in the US yet, but very soon it's the Canyon Deflector, a bike company, uh, making it $160 for this helmet. And at first I was like, okay, what's the big deal? But then I saw the testing, the test results on this helmet and I was like, gotta cover this thing gotta cover this thing and the helmets look pretty good too and uh, the science actually sounds pretty good so MIPS first iterations you know they didn't really work kind of funky made the helmet uncomfortable you know where, where it was hitting your head and the plastic stuff uh, they got it a lot better these days but this thing is way more protective than MIPS so who we have is a guy named Jamie Cook he worked on a company called Hexer and Hexer is a 3D printed helmet for for you so getting a real good fit the Hexer is testing really well by the way but it's kind of like a commuter helmet and uh, you can't really print those uh, rad mountain bike shapes right so Jamie Cook said hey as we were testing I found that when the panel sheared off uh, the uh, concussive forces on the head the model uh, were not as bad so he said let me make a helmet that uh, where the shell shears off so that's essentially what they have and what they use for this technology are ball bearings ball bearings uh-huh so the testing uh, two levels of testing one was done by iCube University of Tr Strasbourg and uh, 68 to 84 percent reduction in probably the brain injury uh-huh that is a lot like four times safer is what they're saying compared to other helmets out there without any technology okay so let me show you some photos and videos so you see this thing in action you see the the science of testing you also uh we're gonna go through virginia tech university you gotta learn about this school i was just blown away by the amount of work they've done on helmet technology all right, let me start you off with a video right there is the Virginia Tech testing left is non MIPS and you can see the neck and the head just rotate violently on the MIPS side you see the helmet move take some of that movement but the head still rotates but there's definitely reduction in injury and here is the release technology and they worked with Canyon. I'm sure they're working with other manufacturers at the moment. And what their concept is, is have these panels that shear off when the impact is big enough. And how they achieve that technology is through ball bearings. Ball bearings. <laughs> when I first heard that, I'm like, I'm not interested. You know, I don't want no metal in my helmet, big metal balls that might hit my skull but that's not it at all basically they have plastic ball bearings that are small and many of them to uh, dissipate this force and so the outside shell is bonded onto the helmet sitting on these ball bearings and at a certain predetermined force the bond is the glue is going to come off and the the plates the panels are going to rotate on the balls and release huh hence release so look at the construction pretty cool huh and the helmet looks pretty cool as well i imagine once the panel comes off you can't use it anymore which is okay and uh, it might release some plastic bearings out in the environment but you know it's really uh, not all of them are going to be released just a few you know, so it's under control not too bad 160 bucks and you know Pretty much when you hit any helmet with a significant blow you're supposed to replace it anyway so here is the ball bearing in action rotation comes off compression it's gonna stay on so right there no bearings at all no release and the on the right is with release the difference is dramatic 
So this is the best test they have, which is a sheer angle impact where your neck really takes it. Let me tell you, I've taken two of these hits, one on the ground and one on a branch. Just a slight branch hit, rotated my head, and man, I was dizzy for six months because that was my second blow. All right, so we had the University of Strasbourg, but what's really compelling is we all know, we should know, Virginia Tech University and their helmet research. They have about nine disciplines where they test helmets for, and they're really renowned in the U.S. and probably the world now uh, because they do a very good job uh, studying how the impacts occur, duplicating them, and then uh, measuring them and then really testing helmets so they buy all their helmets there's no sponsors there are no stockholders basically uh, and their all their studies are open for peer review open for comment so it's not MIP saying our MIPS is good or 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 a company saying they're you know their tech is good so it's uh, definitely independent and what they've done here is they got 281 helmets tested them all and force ranked them from 1 to 281 so really fascinating so even if you don't like this helmet just at least look into the Virginia Tech uh, data and research that they've done because it is really quite compelling uh, and uh, they're under peer review, and here they are. And what they've done that's really cool is force rank them, but also state the price. You know, it's no good, no need uh, to be enamored about a helmet, but it costs 800 bucks. So here, number one is the Canyon Deflector RLS, $160 with a rating of 6.82. So pretty darn fascinating. I think the rating, you just use it for basis of comparison. And then number two is Hexer. You know, oh, it's a release helmet as well. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay. All right, a lot of those helmets are 300 bucks, 250 bucks. So 160 is a good deal. This P2R820 is rated really well and it's only $55. So I'll find a link for that for you guys. And, uh, you know, the bigger the helmet doesn't mean it's going to be less concussion. It'll probably be more concussion. It's just going to protect your, your chin and your jaw and your teeth and all that, which is important as well. So go to the bottom, and we have Basecamp Urban Commuter, $26 helmet. We have a $60 helmet that burned that sucks. And you notice all the bad helmets for concussion are all these round shell looking combat helmets. You know, they are just not good for isolating your head from rotational force. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this little fascinating peek into some cool new helmet technology. I'm, a, I'm, I'm pretty jazzed about this now that I've learned about it. Uh, most of my helmets now are MIPS. You were like, why not? But this one really looks like a step above MIPS. All right, so we have links in the description for any old helmet. Uh, and it will help our channel out if you buy through our partners through our link and why don't you chime in and talk about your favorite helmet comfort fit protection and if you've had any anecdotes of these coming into play thanks a ton everybody